Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the command prompt is not working or opening properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to actually go ahead and search for command prompt or just type in CMD like I normally do. And you're going to go right click on it and select run as administrator. And select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. It was possible you were not running it with administrator permissions. So there's a chance that that's why either the command prompt wasn't working or perhaps the command that you typed in wasn't working properly either. And that's another thing, if the syntax or spelling is off on the command you're typing in, that's certainly a possible explanation. So you want to make sure that you have it down properly. And just with that said, you want to make sure like that is correct. Another couple things we want to do involve opening up the search menu. Type in PowerShell. Best result should come back of Windows PowerShell. Right click on it. And select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one see system file checker utility, SFC scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste it in. Hit enter and let this run here. It will take a couple minutes, so please be patient. And once that command is done running, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video. It's a DISM command, so go ahead and copy that and paste it into the PowerShell window the same way you did the first command. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your command prompt issue. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.